Hello everyone. Now as we have performed the programs related to finding largest and smallest number in an array. So now we will move to uh, sorting how to sort the data. Now we can uh, sort any data in two ways either in ascending order or descending order. Now sorting for sorting we can use bubble sort. Bubble sort is an algorithm to find the largest number uh, among uh, uh, the numbers in an array so what we do in this suppose we are taking a, a, this example so we are having uh, elements of we are having an array of five elements uh, these are the elements now what we will do we will compare each pair of adjacent elements one after the another and in any of the adjacent pairs if the first element is uh, greater or larger than the second element then we will swap the elements and if not then moves on to the next pair like in this 8 and 5 so 8 and 5 8 is greater than 5 so what we will do we will swap it now after swapping we will go to the next adjacent pair 8 and 2 this then here also first element is bigger uh, as compared to the second so we will swap it similarly we will go on like this and at the result of this first iteration uh, we will get largest number at the last location now after first iteration as we know all numbers are not sorted so we will continue this iteration now the question is how many iterations we require so in general it takes n minus 1 iterations where n is the size of array so we require n minus 1 iterations in order to sort a given array using bubble sort algorithm where n is the number of elements so uh, in normal programming uh, C level programming we can see we can use two loops two for loops this one is for the number of repetitions and this one is for number of comparisons if array first element is greater than the second element then we will swap it for swapping we are taking some temporary register now same thing we have to do in the assembly language programming here what we are doing we have we are having n minus 1 comparisons uh, by taking two consecutive data at a time now after each comparison two data can be rearranged in ascending order we are we are uh, sorting this array in ascending order uh, so uh, in the ascending order in the same memory location that is the smaller number we have to take first and then the larger number to the next memory location now when the above n minus 1 comparisons are performed n minus 1 times the array will be sorted in ascending order in the same locations now this is the flow chart so we will uh, in firstly we will initialize uh, si register as a source address of array of numbers then we will initialize cl register with the uh, array size now we will decrement it by one to store the number of repetitions so cl we are taking as a count for number of repetitions now similarly we will uh, initialize ch register with array size and we will decrement it by one to store the number of comparisons so our number of repetitions are uh, n minus one and number of comparisons n minus one now we will load first byte of array in air now for sorting in ascending order we should have smaller number uh, in AL so we will load first uh, byte of array in AL compare the content of AL with next byte in the array if it is less than then it is fine if it is less than and equal to then we will move to this step otherwise if it is greater than the next byte that means we have to swap uh, so we have to swap between the two memory locations so swap so to swap between two memory locations we cannot do it directly with an instruction so what we have do, we have done we have taken al as a temporary register so we have exchanged the data between si and si minus one we have rearranged the data so after this we will decrement the uh, number of comparisons because we have done one comparison so we have we will decrement the number of comparisons if it is non-zero then we will uh, again go to comparison part if it is zero that means uh, we have uh, done one iteration so we will move uh, to this next instruction which will be decrement cl which is number of repetitions so we are going to next iteration so we will decrement cl by one now if this cl is non-zero then we will again execute these 
uh, steps otherwise we will uh, end the program and in the same memory location same input memory locations the uh, data will be sorted uh, in ascending order so this is the program uh, for repetition number of repetitions we are taking this uh, uh, label and uh, for comparison this level uh, label so uh, first of all initialize memory location for storing array size then move uh, array size in cl register decrement cl register to store number of repetitions now then initialize uh, the pointer uh, si pointer means uh, now uh, we are again we are uh, getting the array size in next register ch register which will which will be used for number of comparisons we will decrement it so that to store number of comparisons then we we will move to uh, next uh, location now first location stores the array size next location stores the first element of the array so we have moved that first uh, element in al register now we will point to the uh, next data we will compare it with the al content if al content is less than the next data that means there is a uh, carry uh, we are taking borrow so al content is less than next element so we will directly go to this uh, ahead label otherwise if al content is greater than the next element so we will exchange the data now uh, uh, when we will decrement the count of comparisons we will again go to this uh, comparison uh, loop so we will come again do this uh, until we are getting non-zero uh, number of comparisons now uh, if uh, number of comparisons are coming equal to uh, number of comparison is equals to zero then we will uh, go decrement the uh, count for repetitions uh, if it is uh, non zero that mean we will go to this level and we will execute these steps uh, if it comes equals to zero that means we have performed all the comparisons or the repetitions means all the iterations so we will finally stop the program so this example uh, i've taken uh, th these memory locations are there uh, first memory location stores number of uh, data uh, how many data elements are stored in array uh, till from this uh, location to this location we have elements different elements of the array and after uh, execution of this program we will get uh, the sorted data in the same memory locations uh, sorted data will be in ascending order so we will uh, go to our uh, emulator so i have copied the program here so now we will go to emulate it so first of all we will go to uh, memory location where we have to store the input so ds we have taken 4000 and we will go to 4000 and SI 1200 1200 so we are storing 5 uh, elements so 0 5 then next 0 0 A then next 0 2 Zero two next zero nine zero nine then next zero six zero six and finally last data zero four zero four so now we will move to our code segment. 0, 1, 0, 0 and we will run the program finally we can check our same locations whether the data is sorted or not 4000 this will be 100 so 
we can see our uh, this is the array size and our data is in ascending order 2 4 6 9 8 so this way we have sorted our uh, array in ascending order now uh, for similarly for the descending what we have to do we have we will do the same process except now uh, after each comparison the two data can be rearranged in descending order in the same memory location now we have to store larger data first and smaller in the next memory locations similarly we have to perform n minus 1 comparisons n minus 1 times so this is the flowchart same steps are there only if we when we compare the content of AL with next byte in array if it is less than uh, and uh, if it is less than then we will swap the data if it is greater than uh, and equal to then we will go to uh, dec decrement the uh, number of comparisons so uh, in same process uh, like we have done in the sorting data in ascending order similarly we will do in this also just one difference is there here uh, instead of jump on carry uh, there we have used jc now jump of no carry jump of no carry means al data is already greater than the next uh, byte so uh, we will go to uh, directly this label now we will decrement the uh, uh, if it, this condition is not satisfied then uh, we will uh, uh, exchange the data between memory location and uh, be between memory location pointed by SI and SI minus 1. Now on uh, decrementing uh, count comparison if uh, the number of comparison is non-zero then we will move to this level execute these instructions otherwise uh, we will decrement the count for repetitions if it is non-zero so we will uh, again repeat these steps uh, and if it is zero th that means we have uh, done all the repetitions all the comparisons so we will finally stop the program now same uh, example i have taken five elements these five elements and after sorting in uh, descending order it should come something like this so now uh, we will go to our uh, emulator we will make a minor change here we will have j and c j and c other things are same so now we will go to emulate firstly we will make our data segment value as 1000 we will go to this specific memory location si we have taken 1200 so here we will make it 1200 so first we'll, we will enter array size which is 05 then next data 0 a 0 a next 0 2 0 2 next 0 9 0 9 then next 0 6 0 6 and finally 0 4 0 4 now we have stored our elements so now we will go back to the code segment 0 1 0 0 and we will execute our program so now finally we can see the same memory locations for whether our data is uh, sorted or not so now we can see there are five elements in the array and these five elements are sorted in descending order 0a then 090604 and the smallest at the end 0 2 so in this way we can uh, sort our uh, data in array in ascending as well as descending order thank you